our next topic looks at interference from thin films. So imagine you have a layer of oil on water. So we got water. We got a little thin layer of oil. And then we have air up here. Now what happens is, let's imagine the, the oil layer is like some thickness L. And so what happens is that as light hits any surface, it tends to reflect. Well, some of the light goes through, hits the next surface and reflects. And so what happens is that these two reflections are now out of phase. If the original light was all in phase, the reflections are out of phase. Uh, so that means that they could interfere with each other. They could be either destructive or constructive interference. And so once again, we look at this and say, well, one of the, one of the waves has shifted you know, by some distance. Uh, the distance, the, the, as this extra shift right here is 2L. So if 2L equals a full wavelength, you're going to get constructive interference. If 2L equals um, half a wavelength, you get destructive interference. So put that simply, uh, 2L equals M lambda. That's going to be constructive. If 2L equals M plus 1 half lambda, that's destructive. Now I'm going to alter these statements slightly, okay, uh, because these statements need to be, are, 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 are our generic statements for constructive and destructive interference. Uh, so they, they, they take a slight difference when we're talking about reflecting off of a film like this. Uh, for one thing, when a wave hits a, a substance and reflects, two things can happen. The reflected wave could be in phase with the the wave that 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 that, that uh, came back, or it could be exactly opposite. Okay, so there's a, there, it is possible to get a phase shift. So this is a phase shift. of pi radians, okay, or a 180 degree phase shift. So it means exactly opposite. Uh, now, you get a phase shift like that if the, the if you're going from index of fraction one to index of fraction two, you get a phase shift if N2 is greater than N1, okay. If N2 is less than N1, then it, does not phase shift. And so that that makes for for a difference right here in in uh, what's going to happen. Now, uh, for the case that I get, just gave you, the example that I gave, in which we have air, oil, water, Air has index of fraction 1. Water has index of fraction 1.33. Oil can be actually about 1.25. It depends. Different kinds of oil will have a different index of refraction. And so uh, so it's going to be a little... It, so th there's no, no telling. Okay. On the other hand, if you had a soap bubble, so you have a soap bubble, then what happens is the it's air on the inside, air on the outside. So this is one. That's one. Soap has an index of fraction very close to that of water, and so uh, so in that case you get a phase shift on one surface, but a not a phase shift on the other surface. Okay, so that changes. So that means if there is a phase shift on both surfaces. So in other words, both of them are in phase, okay. Uh, uh, then M lambda, uh, uh, um, then, then, then what happens is that if 2L equals M lambda, that's constructive. And if 2 lambda equals M plus 1 half lambda, that's destructive, okay. 
if the phases are different, that means already one of them shifted halfway. So 2 lambda, 2L equals M lambda, that's going to be a shift. So that would be destructive. And 2 lambda equals M plus 1 half lambda, 2L equals M plus 1 half lambda is going to be constructive. Notice, the equations are backwards of what they are if the phases are the same. So you need to keep track of when you get a reflection, do you have a phase shift? If both, if both reflections have a phase shift, the phases are the same. Okay, and so these equations hold. If one reflection is a phase shift and the other reflection is not a phase shift, then the phases are different, and so you have to use these equations over here on to the right. So they're the same equations, they're just opposite. So you just have to keep track of, of which, which situation that you've got. Well, now we add one more little complication to the whole. So we got our thickness here of our, our material. So our thin film. So the light reflecting the top, light reflecting off the bottom. So the difference in path is 2L. Now we said that needs to be uh, related to the wavelength. Okay, but the problem is the wavelength in here is going to be different than the wavelength up here. So when we talk about wavelength, we normally talk about light with a wavelength in a vacuum. So if I say a laser has a certain wavelength, what I'm telling you is the wavelength in a vacuum. It's going to be different in water or glass or something else. We already talked about that, how the speed is different in these other materials, therefore the wavelength is different. So we know that speed equals lambda times f. Well, in a material, the, the, the speed is going to be equal to the speed over n. So speed over n equals lambda f. Okay, so the, the material makes a difference. So we look at that and we say, okay, so how does this change? Well, c equals lambda. Uh, uh, so what we have here, this is the way, so, so the frequency is the same for both. So if it's the same frequency, then that means the wavelength has to be different in the material. Well, C equals lambda naught F. So that means that lambda naught F over N equals lambda F. So you divide that and we find out that the lambda N, the wavelength in the material, equals the wavelength in a vacuum divided by n. Okay, so that changes our equation slightly because now when we have the light reflecting off the top and bottom here, we want this path length 2L to relate to the wavelength in the material. So now the equation becomes 2L equals uh, M lambda over N, where now this is actually lambda naught, the, the wavelength in a vacuum. And so that would be uh, the equation here that we want. Uh, for now, we can, we can take same thing we did, same phases or different phases. Okay, now M, uh, uh, now we have that 2L equals M lambda naught over N. That is going to be constructive interference. 
2L equals M plus 1 half lambda naught over N. That's destructive interference. Okay. And likewise, if you have different phases, then the 2L equals M plus 1 half lambda naught over N. That's going to be constructive, whereas 2L equals M lambda naught over N. That's going to be destructive. Okay. Now, the N here, the index of fraction, is the N of the material, the thin film. Not the not the end of the what's inside, not what the end is outside, but the end that's in the material itself. So this is the end of the thin film. So now we have the equations. So this is this is these are the final equations right here that you would use for determining constructive destructive interference for reflection from a thin film. Uh, all you need to know, figure out is the order of the indices of fraction, same phase or different phase. Then you, then you know whether to use the left set of equations or the right set of equations. And, and really they are the same equations, it's just that they're opposite one another. So you just have to keep track of which one is which.